Welcome to Down With ASP, Studio A Live Lounge, where we talk with the latest rising stars of the music industry. And enjoy some great live musical performances. Today on the show, we'll have Steven Rothar and Relia Grease Lemuria performing for both myself and this week's celebrity host, local DJ Joel oh, Allman. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show this week. I can't wait to see some fresh new talent. It's showtime. <laughs> is Down With ASP, Studio A Live Lounge. Hey Lucas, why was the musician arrested? <sighs> why, Joel? Because he was in treble. <laughs> Get it? Treble sounds like trouble. Yes, Joel, very amusing. Or how about this one? Why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? Oh my God, please stop. Faux drizzle. Okay, that is enough. Can we stay focused for one minute, please? Tonight, two rising stars will have a chance at their big break. Each performer will give two live performances for an opportunity to be the opening act for Joel Allman's next show. Well, let's get this show on the road. Who's our first performer? I thought you'd never ask. Please welcome our first guest, Stephen Rothar. Stephen Rothar is a rising pop star who recently got a record deal with Inside Access Hollywood and has just released a new album called Humans. Stephen, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So, uh, for my first question, I really want to know, how did you first get involved in making music? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story. Uh, my grandmother always had this passion for musical theater, and the first second my mom uh, was able to get me into a musical, she threw me right in. I was Prince Charming in Cinderella, and I had this huge solo, and, well, I later found out that I can't dance, and I did musical theater all throughout high school, middle school, you know, everything. And all of a sudden, I hopped into jazz, did a small album there which wasn't really released but then all of a sudden I got this deal to go out and to LA and record some music and um, you talked a lot about different genres of music that you've done who would you say are some of your musical influences Frank Sinatra uh, more modern pop version Buble uh, Ed Sheeran Shawn Mendes yeah, stuff like that you know um, and you've recently recorded an album uh, it's called The Humans, is that mm. right? Yes, correct. Um, and what has been your favorite part of recording that album? Well, the best part was that I actually got to live in Hollywood Hills uh, in California. And an artist actually made the house. The tables were weird. The beds were weird. You could even sleep on the carpet. It was so comfortable. Uh, but then I got to go to this recording studio, and they made me sit outside for a few minutes, and they said, oh, well, Jay-Z's coming out in his limo. Wow. So I actually had to wait outside did on you, the street. Did you get to meet Jay-Z? No, I didn't, you know, the most. But, you know, I got to go in right after him, and, you know, the mic was warmed up for me after he was in there. So, yeah. That's a tough act to follow. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and you, um, you also have another project coming up. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that? Oh, sure. So, um, I, one of my friends in high school uh, always was talking about how he had a label, and I never really believed him because the kid was kind of a liar. <laughs> you know, he's a jokester or whatever. And uh, all of a sudden, I get this email from a company in Detroit to say, hey, come out and record some music. Let's do something. So, you know, I went out there, met these guys, went to a bar, you know, sang some jazz music, and we just started writing pop music. And we got into this EDM feel, and, you know, you can party to it, you can sit and relax to it. It's a really different approach to what I've usually been doing. When can we expect that to uh, be released? Uh, somewhere around summer, unfortunately. It probably would have been out earlier, but I got sick last week. But I think it has a really nice summer vibe, so I think it'll work. Um, and rounding out some of my final questions for you, what do you think? why do you think you have what it takes to be part of Joel Allman's opening act? Well, you know, music has been a huge part of my life, and I've gotten all these opportunities. I'm working with the same label who owns Dea currently, so that's 
insane, but you know, this would be my first huge break to the world, and I would just be so humbled uh, to get the opportunity. And um, besides that, coming up, um, what else do you have coming up in store? Because you've obviously recorded albums, but are there any tours or other concerts that you have planned for the future? Sure. Uh, there's actually a huge uh, concert in Detroit and we're going to be playing jazz music, we're going to be playing pop music, rap music, you know, everything really. So, um, I'm excited. For my final question, if you had any other artist that you could work with, who would it be? Oh, Ed Sheeran. I mean, the words just, you know, come out of his mouth, just flow. And I just think it works really well, and they're beautiful lyrics, so. Well, when we come back, we'll, ha we'll have a live performance from Steven. You're watching Down With ASP, Studio A, Live Lounge. Welcome back to Down With ASP Studio A Live Lounge. We just spoke with Steven about his recent musical success, and now performing a cover of Shawn Mendes' Mercy, please welcome Steven Rothar. You've got a hold of me You don't even know your power I stand a hundred feet But I fall when I'm around you Show me an open door But then you go and slam it on me I can't take any more I'm saying, baby, please have mercy on me Take it easy on my heart Even though you told me to hurt me You keep tearing me apart Would you please have mercy, mercy I drive through the night just to be near you, baby. Heart old and testify. Tell me that I'm not crazy. I'm not asking for a lot. Just that you're honest with me. My pride is all I got. I'm saying, baby, please have mercy on me. my lungs ripping all the skin from off my bones i'm prepared to sacrifice my life i would gladly do it twice consuming all the air inside my lungs ripping all the skin from off my bones i'm prepared to sacrifice my life i would gladly do it twice please have mercy on me
Thank you so much, Stephen. When we come back, we'll, Stephen will perform one more tune for us. You're watching Down With ASP, Studio A, Live Lounge. Welcome back to Down With ASP, Studio A Live Lounge. Once again, here's Stephen Rothar with Michael Blaze. Haven't met you yet. Take it away. I'm not surprised, not everything lasts. I've broken my heart so many times, I stopped keeping track. Talk myself in, I talk myself out. I get all worked up and I let myself down. I tried so very hard not to lose it I came up with a million excuses I thought I thought of every possibility Yeah And I know someday it'll all turn out And you'll make me work so you can work to work it out And I promise you kid that I'll give so much more than I get Yeah I just haven't met you yet They say all's fair and love and war I won't need to fight it We'll get it right and we'll be united And I know that we can be so amazing And baby, and then your life is gonna change me And now I can see every possibility And someday I know it'll all turn out And I'll work to work it out Promise you, kid, I give so much more than I get Than I get, than I get, than I get Oh, you know it'll all turn out And you'll make me work, so you work to work it out And I promise you, kid, that I'll give so much more than I get yeah, I just haven't met you yet I just haven't met you yet Oh, I promise you, kid I'll give so much more than I get Thank you so much, Stephen. Coming up next, Joel will sit down with our next guest, Relia Grease Lemiria. You're watching Down With ASP, Studio A, Live Lounge.
Welcome back to Down With ASP Studio A Live Lounge. Ralea Grease Lemuria is an upcoming rising star in search of a record deal. Ralea, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Okay, so just give us a little bit of background. Like, how did you first get involved with music and everything? Um, when I was really young, my dad taught me how to sing and taught me how to play the guitar. And because at a young age, we had to play the piano in school, which is basically like a really small piano, but we had to blow through a t tube thing <laughs> to create a sound. It was really weird. Um, but ever since then, I had to get piano lessons so I could improve in my pianical skills, whatever. Um, but yeah, there was just a lot of singing in the household and a lot of guitar playing and the piano playing. So it was, yeah, that's how I got involved. That's really cool. So does your, do your parents have like musical background? Um, not so much my mom. Well, okay. My mom was actually a manager of an orchestra in Indonesia. That's where I'm from. Oh, cool. Yeah. And my dad used to be in a band for um, during his high school or something okay. and he still like if there are any sort of business events he plays music sometimes and so yeah. and his whole side of this whole side of his family is very musical so all of his oh, okay. siblings can sing and play the guitar and okay. th I think that's probably where I got it from okay so it was kind yeah. of passed down in yep. the, the music yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. so today you're gonna be playing guitar and how long have mm -hmm. you been playing guitar exactly I've been playing for about seven years okay yeah. very cool mm -hmm. and besides that like uh so you play guitar piano a ukulele little, little, yeah piano uh, thing yeah. i didn't play that in the, <laughs> the last time i played that instrument was probably in the third grade or something yeah. so i probably don't i can't <laughs> um and a little bit of violin okay very cool uh, very yeah cool. <laughs> yeah um so who uh who do you like get inspired by like what what uh, big artists or small artists mm -hmm. do you like to listen to um i actually really like some indonesian artists um there are a lot of and actually like my um uncle who's mm -hmm. like uh, related to me he married a singer okay. and so she's also had uh, has a huge influence on me um in terms of how to sing and the music industry in general in indonesia and I also listen to Carmen, which is a duo group. I okay. listen to Ed Sheeran, and Sarah nice. Brails, and like just a lot of <laughs> cool people. I feel like everyone loves Ed Sheeran. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> yeah. So will today be your first performance, or have you performed before? Um, no, actually, I've performed a few times in high school. Um, I actually had opportunities to perform in middle school as well, but I didn't want, I was, my stage fright was really bad and so I didn't want to perform but during high school I, I figured like you know what I don't want to lose my opportunity so yeah. like I started performing and I actually performed here um, twice in awesome. Ithaca College yeah awesome very cool. cool so yeah. this would you say this is more of a hobby or would you say that you are looking uh, to pursue it a little bit I don't know yet I mean for now I really like doing it yeah. and I'm thinking of minoring in music but I'm still not sure like yeah. as of now I really like doing it as a hobby but yeah. I, who knows? Yeah, I mean, so you said your major is business. Would you ever yeah. want to just go into the music industry at all? Yeah, or for just sure. Maybe, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, um, very cool. I, I don't know what part of the music industry I want to be in right. um, specifically, but I'm very interested in the music industry. So how are you balancing music uh, kind of with school? Like, uh, do you do you kind of like do your homework and then do music or is it like um, it's just it's just kind of like on the side yeah. maybe just on weekends or? um well if i ever need to relax you mm -hmm. know because there there's like a lot of stress with the assignments all do at the same time and so if i need to relax um i play the guitar or i just sing um but it's kind of hard to do that because i have a roommate and sometimes she doesn't want to yeah, be, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know <laughs> so it's kind of difficult to do that but usually in the weekends when she's away or very cool yeah awesome mm -hmm. well thank you Ralea. when we come back we will have a live performance from Ralea, and you're watching down with asp studio a live lounge
Welcome back to Down With ASP Studio A Live Lounge. Here's Relia Grease Lemuria with Love Song by Sarah Bareilles. Head underwater And they tell me To breathe easy for a while Breathing's harder Even I know that You made room for me But it's too soon to see I'm happy in your hands I'm unusually hard to hold on to Blank stares at blank pages No easy way to say this You mean well, but you make this hard on me I'm not gonna write you a love song Cause you asked for it, cause you need one You see, I'm not gonna write you a love song Cause you tell me it's make or break in this If you're on your way I'm not gonna write you to stay If all you have is leaving I'm gonna need a better reason to write you A love song today Right back with another performance right here on Down with ASP Studio A Live Lounge. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Down With ASP Studio A Live Lounge. Once again, here's Relia Grease Lemuria with Make You Feel My Love by Bob Dylan. When the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I could offer you Feel my love 
your tears I could hold you for a million years To make you feel my love I know you haven't made your mind up yet Those were both great performances, but now you have to pick. Who's it going to be, Joel? Well, I've had a lot of time to think about it, and they were both fantastic, so I'm going to go with both. Wow. I'm sure they'll make great opening acts. Thank you to our two performers, Stephen and Relia, and to our celebrity host, Joel Almond. We'll see you next time on Down With ASP Studio A Live Lounge, where we'll talk with an up-and-coming rapper about their new album, Straight Outta Cortland. Have a good night. <laughs> 